So hello, uh, welcome to a roadmap for engagement. My name is Mary Mark Ockerbloom, and I am here to introduce the Wikipedia Workbook for Cultural Institutions, which is something that I created with support from Jeff Gwynn at Vizcaya Museum and Gardens in Miami. Uh, this is the second edition of the workbook, and we learned from the first experience. So this time we made sure that everything in the workbook is CC BY 4.0 so that we could actually put it on comments where people can download it and you can use pieces of it. And it's linked from the uh, conference session so that you can get it that way. Uh, so the workbook is based on my experience with Wikipedia platforms and cultural institutions. I've been a Wikipedian in residence for about 10 years, starting with seven years at the Science History Institute in Philadelphia. And uh, the, then I was a, after the pandemic, I was a Wikipedian in residence with the science publisher Annual Reviews um, for three years. And you might also know me as co-host of the Philadelphia Wiki Salon, which is an online meetup uh, every month where we just get together to talk about what we're doing and also to share a short uh, training sessions, usually of about 10 minutes long on very, very specific topics, like how do you add an archives at statement to Wikidata and what are the appropriate things to, to do with that? Uh, and I'm also the editor of a website called a Celebration of Women Writers, which is now about 30 years old and which links to freely readable online books and resources about women writers. So, when I started working at the Science History Institute, I didn't really know much about how to work with cultural institutions as a Wikipedian. So this is kind of the what I learned in the last 10 years and uh, many of the things that I'm going to talk about, some of them didn't even exist 10 years ago. So if you're interested in connecting cultural institutions with Wikipedia and related projects, then the Wikipedia workbook is a guidebook for planning your trip. Um, and like most guidebooks, it provides a set of starting points rather than a deep discussion of everything that you might want to know. But it should give you a good idea of, of what's out there and where you might want to find out more. The full workbook is about 80 pages long, but you can easily suggest, uh, su select topics that are of interest to you or the institution you're working with. And this talk is going to kind of give you an overview of what's in the workbook without going into a lot of the detail for that. You can download the workbook. Um, one of the most important points I want to make is that building institutional partnerships requires sharing and recognizing each other's perspectives and expertise. And as Wikipedians, we often know a lot about Wikipedia or Commons or Wikidata, and cultural partners that we might be interested in working with may look at those things and go, we don't know what that is. Um, but on the flip side of that, cultural partners may have their own institutional workflows. They have planning tools. They have things like logic models. They work with metrics. And Wikipedians often look at those and go, we don't know what the heck those are. And so this is kind of my attempt to bridge that gap and bring those two people, two groups together and enable them to have more effective conversations with each other about what they're trying to do. So most people have some familiarity with Wikipedia articles through searching for information. And I actually chose to call the workbook the Wikipedia workbook because that's something that's familiar to people. It gives them a connecting point into it, even though it talks about a lot of other projects that are and could perhaps have been more appropriately titled the Wikimedia Workbook. But a deeper understanding of how Wikipedia works often requires discussing both cultural and technical issues. So one of the biggest ones is understanding and avoiding conflict of interest. And I'm going to reference a lot of work that's, in the, that's actually pointed out to in the workbook. But what you're tr often trying to do in an institution is present the idea that they need to be a knowledge sharer. And they need that the viewpoint for them to approach Wikipedia from is that of someone who wants to share um, information and uh, resources in a very kind of uh, unbiased and, and non-judgmental way and participate in the community. And part of what you do as a Wikipedian in residence is you try to educate people in an institution about 
um, identifying opportunities for positive engagement based on the common mission of the institution and Wikipedia itself. Something else we all need to know about is dealing with disinformation. So I have information about that in the workbook. And there's technical stuff like account creation, article structure, using the visual editor and uh, wiki markup. Commons, we know it's where images are stored on wiki projects and beyond. And when releasing images on commons, critical concerns with an institution are copyright licensing and tracking. And in the US, most archives and libraries are used to being asked about fair use. Can something be used under fair use? That's not the question that they need to answer if you're trying to determine that you're going to release something on commons. It doesn't satisfy the commons requirements. So it's more important that you have these conversations often repeatedly about what question you're really asking. Um, you need to be able to determine copyright, it's complicated, and you need to be able to link it up with licensing on commons, which is also complicated. And as an inst if you're working with an institution, they are going to want to know ways to track the information that they've released so that they can measure impact. And I get into that a lot more later. Wikidata is an underlying data model. It's used to describe the world in terms of entities and relationships. And Wikidata collects, connects things to things like Wikipedia articles and commons images. It's used by programs all over the internet like Google. And a model is only as good as the information it includes. So there are a lot of tools, things like the Wikidata query service, OpenRefine, and Integrality that can be used to discover connections and gaps and to expand Wikidata's representation of what we know about the world. And I get into those in the workbook. Um, on the flip side, institutions. Institutions know a lot about things like planning and logic models and metrics. And these are critical pieces in terms of designing programs and obtaining funding for projects. And I know they're trying to um, keep me moving along, but I love logic models. Please look at the pages about that. Um, and start discussing an institution's values and identifying meaningful metrics from the beginning of a project. This is essential. There are wiki tools for GLAM metrics. There are also off wiki things. Um, often institutions are familiar with Google Analytics or alt metrics, which track uh, traffic to them. And one of the big problems is that Wikipedians tend to assume that this means they're somehow being, that this is somehow a vanity metric, that this is somehow like, well, we want to know that we look good. It's not about that. This is about planning. Institutions need to be able to demonstrate all the way up the food chain, right up to from the person that you're working with, a supervisor, up to their head decision-making people, up to their board, up to their funders. They need to be able to demonstrate that the things that they are giving money and people's time and resources to are having an effect and are worth are basically of value and are worth continuing to support. Um, I do want to mention specifically, I want to call it something called Decraft. It's an evaluation toolkit. It's mentioned in the workbook. It's got the link there. It's from the Digital Library Federation, and it gets into a lot of these off-wiki metrics that Wikipedians don't always think about but can be really, really useful. Um, you also need to understand an organization in terms of its structure and its institutional workflows. And it's really important to look for the points of connection where people can engage with Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, and Wikidata as part of their current existing work. So that might be that uh, you make, maybe as somebody works with an institution, you're not allowed to go back and walk around in the archives and mess with stuff. But maybe you get to know the archivists and they come by your office once in a while and they go, hey, we found this cool thing that would you be interested in writing about this? This is kind of neat. And you go, yeah, yeah, I totally want to do that. Uh, or maybe you get to know the people in the oral history department or the people who are writing the finding aids for the collections and you talk to them and you go, you know, when you finish a finding aid, you could go to Wikidata and you could drop in this statement that says finding aid at and indicate your institution and put a link to the finding aid. Same thing for oral histories. And that's like a two minute thing to do or less that if they know how to do it and they make it part of the workflow, it just becomes something that happens automatically in that institution. 
Um, there's loads of different tools and metrics and trainings that can be a part of an institution's workflow that are really relevant to working on Wikipedia. One of the most uh, useful and broadly applicable is OpenRefine, and OpenRefine is complicated, but there's a lot of resources that I link to. There's trainings, there's, there's all kinds of websites that I link to from the workbook that you can get to that will help you to find out how to use OpenRefine. And it, of all the different tools, it's probably, I think, the one that's the most broadly applicable. So just in terms of the workbook structure, each topic gives an overview of key ideas that you need to know and starting points for deeper explanation, exploration. Uh, information it, pages are often paired with task pages that are activities for you and your cultural partners. So for example, with Wikidata, I introduce what it is and then I say, here's a task. It's go to look at your search Wikidata, see if your institution's on Wikidata, check the stuff there to see if it's accurate. Um, the workbook's organized so that you can select subsets of pages and pull them out and use them for specific things. So if you wanted to have a workshop or a, an edit-a-thon dealing with disinformation, there's pages 26 to 29, I believe it is, that you could pull out and use as a handout on how to identify disinformation, guard against it, and effective writing techniques and tactics for countering it. Similarly, if you want to use Integrality, which is an absolutely delightful tool and one of my new favorites, there's a four-page handout on exactly how you can set that up and make it work. And at the end, there's a quick reference section that lists all of the URLs and tools and training resources and things that are referenced throughout the entire workbook, and, you can, and they're grouped by uh, topics, so you can kind of go through and find stuff that way. So I want to thank everybody at Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, even though they're not in this room uh, for supporting this workbook. It would not have happened without their help. And I wanna thank you, thank all of the enthusiastic people who have created Wiki projects, tools, and trainings, and done the research that I referenced throughout the workbook because it wouldn't have happened without you either. So thank you very much. Do I have time for any question? I think we're, I think we're into the next uh, session, are we? Yeah. But you can talk to me afterwards outside. <laughs>